color palette inspired by Captain America today, apparently. Hi guys, so I just really quickly wanted to film an introduction video. Um, I'm Emily, the name of my channel is Emily's Daily Grind because as the title suggests, I'm pretty much just making a YouTube channel based on uh, what I do on a daily basis, which is <clears throat> CrossFit, I'm a personal trainer, I eat lots of food, um, <laughs> I pretty much just live life, but I just wanted uh, to create a space to share my story, um, where I've come from, because where I'm at now in terms of my um, fitness journey and career in the health and fitness industry, it's definitely been an uphill battle and a really long road. So I just want to share um, everything that I've learned along the way, just weeding out like all the gimmicks and the ridiculousness that is marketed to us um, on social media every single day. I just want to put myself out there as a person sharing a message that says it's okay to not have all matching workout clothes, to not have a perfectly manicured life because I certainly don't, um, and who just is out there not only trying to be better physically, um, but mentally and emotionally as well. It's my goal in the health and fitness industry to not just create confidence in people, but to create character in people because confidence in yourself is only going to get you so far in life. And honestly, um, in my experience, focusing too much on confidence is where we just get so hung up on how do I feel about myself? I'm like, yes, that's important. It is always, um, it's, it's always good and beneficial to have a, a positive mindset about about where you're at, but it's, it's not healthy, in my opinion, um, to focus so much on the external value of yourself because not only is that so fleeting and you start to put your faith in something that can instantly be taken away from you, trust me, I've been there. Health and fitness is an extremely important part of life and I really think that regardless of if you're an artist or an athlete or somewhere in between, like you should be making time during the day to better yourself physically. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter like how sculpted of a physique I can get. If I'm a crappy person and I don't know how to treat other people well or I don't have self-discipline um, or I freak out when I'm under stress, like that ultimately is why I make training the way that I do such a priority in my life because it forces me to target the weak areas in my mindset. So that's ultimately what I'm I'm here to do. Yes, I will share tips and tricks on things from nutrition to meal prep to mobility to training to programming, all that jazz. I will share everything health and fitness that I can think of. Um, I also just want to share my life with you guys. Um, starting a YouTube channel is something that I've wanted to do for a long time because I am kind of that weird hybrid of jock and also artist. But now that things have kind of smoothed out for me, I'm I'm able to combine all of my passions. And people might think that I'm like such a weirdo for doing this and I honestly, I don't care. This channel could end up getting 15,000 views or it could get two or zero. I honestly don't care. At this point, I'm doing this more so for me because if there's anything that I've learned in the past year, there's really no reason to not try the things that you want to do. I'm so over being afraid of failure. I could fail miserably at this or I could not, but either way, I'm going to I'm going to have fun with it and I want to share a positive and influential voice in the fitness industry in a way that I really don't think that there's um a message being put out there like the one I want to want to speak right now but I just wanted to give a little quick introduction um, about what I envision for the channel and where I'm at right now and yeah we'll <laughs> we'll see where it goes also I live in a city so you guys can get used to all the background noise because there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of it with that said keep watching or don't and there will be a lot more from me to come. So another thing I should probably mention at this point is that I am a brand ambassador for, hello, focus here. Okay, don't. For an incredible supplement company. Came out with this new 
green supplement. It's called Rebalance. Look at how vibrantly green that is. It's like matcha. And yes, I did just dump a bunch of that all over my counter. Derping my way through life. The one thing that really sets FNX apart from the crowd is that they have their own chemist who makes everything specifically for their company. So you're never gonna find another um, supplement line using their same formulas. And this particular favor, flavor is strawberry dragon fruit. I believe they have a banana one as well, which I haven't tried. I can tell that this is like definitely gonna become a staple in my diet. Um, so much immune system health, which is something that like I desperately need. I work in an underground gym, <laughs> so that's not exact. It's kind of like a petri dish for germs, basically, is what I'm saying. So my immune system like needs to be on point all the time. I'm I'm up early mornings. I train a lot. I just can't afford to get sick. So bottoms up. This is seriously. My very first pair of lifters. Look at those beauties. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm so excited. I am going to take a nap and then go straight to the gym for my evening training session. Try those suckers out. Ooh, I'm so excited. So I'm